The work ethic ties in a lot with discipline, commitment, and that's really what uh, inspires me the most about my father is that uh, since I was a child up until now, it has been that unwavering uh, resolve. He's uh, very passionate and uh, because he's passionate, he's also a very caring person. So there's uh, two words. For me, it's father. For others, it's uh, ruler. But they're really the same person. I learned a lot of lessons from him as I was growing up. And I found a lot to be inspired by as I was growing up. But the more I have worked for him, the more I have come to realize that the same expectations he had for us as children is the same expectations he has for Ras al Khaimah, but with the same love and care he showed us as we were growing up, he gives that same love and care to Ras al Khaimah. And giving people opportunity to follow the, the road they wish to take. I mean, I was in the army. I mean, that's all you need to know about the kind of person he really is. How many people do you know that would willingly want their children to actually go to war? Much less let them make that decision for themselves. A lot of it's really not creating opportunities as much as it's in the same lines as equality of opportunity. I mean. I work in the government now, but my elder sister is in charge of me. That sort of equality is the kind of equality he strives for. It works the same way with uh, creating something out of Ras al Khaimah. He's doing the best he can for Ras al Khaimah, but he's creating the opportunity for everyone else to be able to do the same. I think that's really one of the biggest achievements. He has had a single-minded focus on where he thinks Ras al Khaimah should be, and he and knowing where Ras al Khaimah is, and the ability to take it from point A to point B over such a long stretch of time. It's more of a passion. You have to have the passion for it. You have to have the willingness to keep doing the same thing day in, day out. But you can't do that without passion. At some level, you have to love what you do. And even if you can't do as much as he does, or have the ability to do as much as he does, it doesn't matter. As long as what you're doing is for the good of your country, for the good of people around you, it's not just me, I'm loyal to my leaders. You can't be loyal to your leaders if they're not loyal to you. And that's the kind of loyalty that breeds loyalty. And that's the kind of commitment that breeds commitment. And all of that ties in to one thing, and that's lead by example. You want people to be like you, you have to be that yourself. You want to be able to discipline people. You have to be disciplined yourself. It's a very simple way of life, but he doesn't know how to live any other way. That's him. We don't want the, our children to be a, a photocopy of us. We want them to be themselves. We want to make them allow them, actually, that they are able to be themselves in the mirror and to realize what they want in life and really help them as parents. Whether they, whatever choice they make, that they are there for them, helping them to accomplish themselves.